Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, CCX here. Welcome back to more Grandia. In the last episode, we end up finding, um, well, we end up finding Colonel Mullen. We didn't really find anything. And then he took us towards the elevator to find the flying battleship, Land of the Grandia. I don't know what this ship is even called anymore. Actually, what is this ship called? Does the game actually tell me? No, it doesn't. The game never really tells me unless you're saving, which is really dumb. And now we're going to go ahead and try to rescue Fina. Well, try. No, oh, it is the Grandia. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and try to rescue Fina because General Ball is being a general creep. Like, seriously. The dude is really like, it's like, who says the line, you're going to obey me just like your sister, Lean? Dude, you have officially just reached the creepy meter. Which also means that you have finally reached um, villain status because once you have reached the creep meter in my quota, you have also reached the I am a villain status. <laughs> But yeah, if you guys, um, if some of you already know the game's story already, you guys already know who the big bad is. In fact, you guys probably know who both of the big bads is. Yes, the big bad is, of course, General Ball. General Ball is insane. He's crazy. And, well, we're going to learn more about him a little bit later. As of right now, we have soldiers to kill. Because <laughs> they need to die. Okay, so you guys were... Regular red blue and black and you guys just reverted back to normal. Wow Hey, you guys are you know what when I'm more so impressed about these guys and it makes me so glad to know that I know them so well They keep ranking up just like we do as we level up. They level up too I'm so proud of you guys and you guys still suck Why? Uh, what is wrong with you guys? I don't understand this. Uh, whatever. You guys confuse the hell out of me. You know that? Like, seriously. You guys really are great. I love you guys, but damn, you guys are weak. That's just like typical mooks. I need to go to the stash system and start stashing some crap because if we're going to be getting some trash items here, we might as well actually use them for our special game. Yeah, I guess I gotta figure Uh, let me see. I am not getting rid of that. I would probably just get rid of the mana egg, because I'm not gonna use it for anybody, to be honest. Uh, we'll get rid of another vaccine. And we'll take this. Um, let me see. Um, okay, let me actually go into the stash system and just stash some items. I'm gonna cut this, so be right back. Alright. And with that, we are done with that. By the way, I love how half of my items are all recovery are all Phoenix Downs. Like, I never thought I had so much recovery potions in my life. <laughs> Usually I would have already been wasting them like left, right, and sideways, but no, I've been literally keeping a lot of them in check. Well, then again, that kind of goes into territory with me not really using a lot of them considering none of my characters die anymore. Also, since we are on this ship, can you guys get remember as I oh you learned burst strike oh that's a that's the that's actually the second most powerful well actually no it's probably the most palm this is that a level two spell if that's a level two fire spell then that's probably like the first um the first powerful fire spell in the um second branch I don't know okay anyways back to what I was saying um. You guys saw Nana, Saki, and Mio, right? <laughs> Can you guess that we're gonna be- By the way, I love how this guy is stuck. I love how both of them were stuck. We are going to be fighting them again. And we're going to be fighting them one last time. Now, at this point, most people would have probably already had Heaven and Earth Cut. And what they will essentially will do is use Heaven and Earth Cut, let Guido restore the SP, and then use Heaven and Earth Cut again. I don't have that luxury. I have the luxury of just spamming practically all of my moves and hope to God that they we can kill them before they even have the chance to attack us. I don't know, but if it happens, it happens. I don't know. It, all I know is that I'm not getting heaven and earth cut no time soon. Not the not the way how I've been leveling up my weapons. I've kind of been leveling up very. I I've been leveling them up in, incorrectly. I've been more like I said. I've been more so focused on spells, more so than anything else. That's that's mostly my own fault. I I can't I can't really blame the game for that. I mean the game gives me spells, but I I mostly just found that in my last playthrough 
the second playthrough for my the PSP version since I played this game from a while back. I found that those guys are still stuck. But um I found that um the way how I played it was more I was more so focusing on both. Like I was more even in my PSP playthrough than I am with my um this playthrough. Which I guess it's a little bit of a problem. I wish I could change that, but I just like I just like the spells growing and growing. <laughs> it just makes me makes me giddy in the pants. Oh, that poor guy. He just got he got killed by a bunny. How did he die? He got killed by a random bunny with pink overalls. This fireball also ends up helping um Rep also level up his uh, fire move as well. I guess I should showcase fire strike, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and um show that later. When we're fighting the three sisters. As I stated before, I know they're not sisters. I just call them sisters because they're always together. Oh, so you're saying, well, no, I'm, no, that's a legitimate reason to go ahead and think of them as sisters because whenever, um, whenever, um, girls are usually together, they're usually sometimes end up becoming sister friends. There's something wrong with that. Sister friends are cool. I mean, hell, we got bros. Why can't sisters have sis? What do sisters, what do you sister friends call themselves? Like, us boys, we call each other bros, but what do, what do girls call themselves? I don't know. Um, actually, I am, I'm actually being serious. What do they call themselves? Because now that I think about it, we call, we call each other bros, but they, wow. Okay, so, I'm slightly confused of how the hell this weapon system works because sometimes we level it up sometimes we don't sometimes I'm confusing myself and sometimes I just look like an idiot for right now I think I just look like an idiot so far rep has leveled up his throwing ability twice in this in like two battles so far in this one area I am gonna be fighting half of these guys so I'm gonna just cut all of this so be right back all right, so I am now cutting back, and I have to say there is a crap load of soldiers in this. Like, it really took me like a good 20 minutes to be able to almost wipe out all of them. And if I go on for any longer, the video, well, it doesn't even matter because since I'm cutting practically all of that, you guys won't even be able to see it. But the soldiers do spoil a lot of experience, and I think I probably know how the weapon system kind of levels up in this. Also, another thing. Most of the time, every time you kill these enemies, they always end up giving you, um, they always give you rescue potions. Those are more mainly important because of the fact that you're going to go ahead and have the capabilities of recovering since the boss fight. There, it's, pro it's basically prepping you for the boss fight ahead, which I appreciate the game for doing that because it ends up literally saying that, hey, man, you, you, you're going to need this. <laughs> There's a door over there. I actually want to check that door. Okay, that's not even it. Wow, that is a very misleading ass door. <laughs> Anyways, um, okay. Oh, meanwhile, during those grinding sessions, I managed to go ahead and, all right, um, I think that probably is the boss chamber. I'm gonna just go back, I'm gonna cut, and I'll be right back. All right, now we're finally back. Holy crap, that took forever. <laughs> I hate when that takes forever. It's like it's, it's not really a glorious thing. Ooh, this looks fancy. Ah, oh, well, I guess it wasn't a boss. As I stated before, I don't I don't trust this game because I can I can run into a boss in like any second. But we are going to be. It was all this stuff. Any of this look familiar to you guys? Probably some kind of engine, but it doesn't look steam powered. Hmm, impressive. This is made with an ancient Angelonian technology. Seriously? How odd. Oh, there's the save point of the boss. I, ugh, I really hate when I do that. Uh, cutting the save again. All right. Now let's head into the control room, shall we? I really hope that we don't get trapped. Yeah, this is the room. This is definitely the room. There they are. The three sisters. Just what do you think you could do here, Justin? Well, darling, according to my calculations, he's here to help that poor little Incarian girl. Boy, oh boy, is he ever clueless. Thanks for bringing us the Spear Stone. We forgot at the Tower of Doom. You got away that time, but now you'll hand it over if you know what's good for you. Got away? Yeah, right. I remember escaping after you kicking your butts. 
Put down, monkey boy. We'll settle accounts soon enough. And the final fight with Nana, Saki, and Mio. Unlike before, when you fought them separately, they decided to actually be smart and fight you together. Because <laughs> they are not dumb. Now, these three... Well... They're fascinating, guys. I know they're girls, but I don't care. Um... These, these fights can be a little bit of annoyance, only because of the fact that you're mostly dealing with all four, all three of them, and mostly all three of them has an annoying gimmick. Essentially, they're just doing their same exact gimmick as they did before when you first fought them. Nothing to really scoff at. Well, actually, no. It, it, you should scoff at them, because they are terrible. Anyways... The first person that you want to go ahead and take out first is Mio, because Mio has the speed. Is it Nana? I don't remember. All I know is Saki is the one with the red hair. It's sad how I only remember her as that, as that but whatever. Eh, this is Mio. Okay, good. Good. I don't feel like an idiot. But now you get to, yeah, now you get to hear the full version of the Gralia theme. Only because you're fighting them, because they basically have a separate theme. Yeah, I don't get it either. By the way, Rep has like 99 SP, and which I think is the maximum, so that's a thing, I guess. <laughs> Man, you girls are just getting like whacked three, uh, all, all healer plus. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that I was trying to go ahead and have a person who's trying to be annoying right now. I'm sorry, that is not happening. Oh no, Trinity attack. Um, that attack hurts. That attack is probably their most damaging dealing attack, and I am not a huge fan of that. Because I'm not having that. You're not gonna get away from this. Huh. It's probably not gonna even cancel them, but whatever. Yeah, I kind of figured. Electrical yo-yo. Instead of the regular yo-yo, she now has electrical yo-yo, because why not? And all healer plus. Great. Yeah, she has to go. Also, practically only one of them has to go so that they won't be able to use Trinity Attack. Because Trinity Attack is their most damage-dealing move. I want to get rid of Mio first because I know that she's going to she's gonna be the one that's going to keep constantly healing the um, team. But, eh. Oh, good. Thank you, Guido. It's very weird to say. <laughs> Alright, as long as we can go ahead and keep, um, sort of keep wailing on them. Now, nah, of course, they're gonna... The Trinity Attack! Ha-ha! <laughs> Let me show you my splendid moves. According to my calculations, this one will get him. Here goes! Yes! Yeah! That only hit two people, seriously? I thought that was going to hit more than one. Wow, you guys actually really suck. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's use Burn Flame. Home Run? You guys going to hit me with a baseball bat? Jesus. You guys are just, you guys are so cruel. Why? <laughs> Why hit me with a baseball bat? It's like saying peanut butter and jelly. Uh. All right, let's actually use one of these um, rescue things because I don't feel like I don't feel like wasting my time using um, heal. I don't feel like healing and you know not being able to actually attack them. I much prefer to actually attack them before they end up getting like anything else out. Uh, booyah! This is not gonna cancel them out, but it's gonna at least do some damage, and it's all I really care about right now. I show no mercy. Oh look, it's my favorite move! Thank God Guido is all the way over there. You can do it, Guido! I believe in you! <laughs> yes, this is, it. is that gonna actually do something? Because the last time that other enemy did something, it didn't do anything. Oh, okay, it does do something. I'll kill you with blast power. Jeez, calm it down, Saki. Just a bunny. I don't believe Guido survives. Sweeto, you must live. No, seriously, you actually must you must live, dude. Alright. Guido is on the floor. <laughs> he's not dead, but he's on the floor. And that's uh that's not good. I need him to I need him to stay up for me. We're actually doing pretty good. Pretty well. We're not doing terrible. Trust me, if I was doing terrible, like I, I was prepped for this fight. 
As I stated before, to be able to make this fight so much easier, if you have Heaven and Earth Cut and you end up having Guido go ahead and give you SP again, you can just spam Heaven and Earth Cut twice. And then you can pretty much um, kill them without any problems. I don't do that because, um, yeah, I just don't do that. I don't know, I just, I find Heaven and Earth Cut to be like a move that's more well-deserved at the, oh, okay, so it does pass 99. For a second, I thought he reached max for a second. I was like, sheesh. All right, we just need, we need um, Rep to just keep hitting them. See, the problem with this is that they stagger a lot when it comes to magical attacks. And that's kind of the beauty of it. Since they stagger a lot, we can pretty much get like a very huge advantage over them. The problem is though, is that once they do start getting their moves out, they kind of become a little annoying people. Speaking of which is, none of you guys, guys are doing all, um, wow. All right, whatever. Up, oh, get us these. Oh man, I hate when that happens. And Trinity attack has been broken. You know what that means? It's time to kick your asses. <laughs> oh, there's a forest move, Speedy, which actually increases um your thing. So all you guys, so instead of attacking us, you guys decide to, and that didn't even do anything to him. Guido's like, please, um, status inducing moves. You girls don't even know who the hell I am. I am a friggin' bunny. <laughs> I am a bunny rabbit. Pocus, pocus. Oh, good. Just before um, Guido decided to hit Saki, rap the uh, got the ability to go ahead and um, drop his defense. Drop the defense. You know what I kind of like about um, this game is the fact that we don't have to deal with um, revival, which I'm glad for because I'm not gonna lie. If these three can revive themselves, this would probably be the most pain in the ass battle in the entire game. The only reason why they not are the most pain in the ass battle in the entire game is more because of the fact that, you know, they can't revive each other. And also, once you've gotten rid of one, that's it. You, the, you basically have won the fight. The only way you can lose this fight is if they manage to... Okay. Um, you know, I'm actually glad Guido did decide to go all the way over there because I think that for the most part, they probably would have been very annoying if they were all like in the same, if, um, well, first off, if she was over here with us, she probably would have been friggin' annoying. Rep, take care of Mio, Saminsaki, and Justin, try to realize that you just got hit with a fan. Don't worry, dude. I know how that feels. Them feels, bro. No, that's fine. I actually more so prefer to take care of Saki. And she's using spinning yo-yo again. This is probably going to hit both. Mm, nope. Only Justin. Okay, good. All right. Oh, and apparently that pushed Justin so far that he's all the way over there now. I don't understand. So, essentially, the only person I didn't get to show her new move was Mio. Because Saki's new move is basically that ability to really um, stun you very hard. Nope. You don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> She's still going to hit me, though. Uh, no, I'm not going to really bother to do that. I'm going to leave you. Oh, no. Okay. So I haven't really shown. Um, I haven't shown her new move yet. I haven't shown Nana's as electrical. No, actually, yo. Yes. No, I did. I did show it. It's just that um, she never got the chance. She she only hit one person. That was that was the problem. But whatever. Anyways, go away. Hey, no, it can't be. Oh, shut up! You were by far the most annoying um, sister to fight. And if we end up, Dustin, would you like to finish her off? I don't mind. Bye bye, sisters. You have been a great asset to your force. And that is one of the hardest fights in the game right. if unprepared. Booyah! <laughs> ah. 
See, you don't need heaven and earth cut. I mean, heaven and earth cut power would have made the battle a lot faster, but hey, who cares? I managed to beat her. Um, them. Yeah, they're all one person. <sighs> huh, piece of cake, but pretty tough for girls. All right, where is Fina? Take us to wherever that old baz buzzer bell ball is. So you think you've beaten us? That's funny, right, Saki? Right, right, we just left, we just let you win, didn't we, Mio? We did. Uh, oh, yes, we did. Aha, uh -huh, right. It was all planned from the start to give us some time, and you boys fell for it. Ahem. <clears throat> According to my calculations, the Gradia is now about to arrive at the destination J-Base. Yeah, and then we'll get all our soldiers together and beat you all up. We'll get even with you, Justin, and you too, monkey boy and rabbit man. <laughs> rabbit man. Let them go. Now what? We have to stop the ship somehow. There'll be a big trouble if we reach the base, like those oddballs said. Let's see. Uh, so I'm not good with computers, so you know what? I'm just... Oh yeah, apparently Rep is actually good with computers. See, he's my persona right here. I love it. <laughs> that ain't knowledge. Final order will be executed. Never mind, he's not good with computers. What the hell did you do? Oh, you just blew up the computer. Nice. Nice. Just... Rep Y. Most likely, Rapino. You break a ship. Final order, Captain. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, that's okay. <laughs> I was gonna trash it anyways. Whatever, looks like we gotta move. We gotta get moving again. We only got like, a few less time, but whatever. Um, I'm not gonna really end the part because considering the fact that all I did was just friggin' fought a bunch of dumb enemies, I might as well continue on because there is one more boss fight. Can you guys guess who that boss is? He's a fun boss. Actually, no, he probably is not that difficult now that I remember it. I don't know, it's been a while since I fought um, him. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. Well, we have to save Fina, and there's only one way to save Fina. We can't just go ahead. We, we essentially have to save Princess Zelda, and who else do we have to fight to go ahead and rescue Princess Zelda? Yeah, Ganondorf. <laughs> we have to fight Ganondorf to be able to rescue Fina. As stupid as that sounds, I'm being totally serious. Look at all this useless ass money. Even though we got more, we had we gotten more money from them than we did from the freaking money off the floor. That's why I always find that getting money charger is really, really minute. Ah, it's Ball's headquarters. Ah, and Fina is nowhere to be found. Just as I figured. You know, there's a very fancy looking room for Ball. Considering his crazy demeanor. Whatever. I mean, I'm not a I'm not a general. I don't really know how it feels to be generals. Generals? Yeah, we yeah, we we we're just more money on the floor. My god. I'm not gonna even get it, cause there's no point. To the passes way. Wow, this place looks like crap. And this is about to happen again. You know, something tells me this ship may... Yeah, of course. What gave it away? And there they go again. Forget it. Uh, all right. <laughs> okay. And there they go. By the way, that was like the only rare expression of Guido that you'll ever see in the entire game. Which is actually sad, because I actually like that picture and... Okay, I never rode on a ship before, but I'm pretty sure destroying one control system doesn't cause the entire thing to explode. Everything we touch explodes, I swear. We can't go with one day without exploding something. Ugh, we gotta go save Fina before this entire place goes haywire. Oh, crap. Oh, snap. Can't takes it no moles. We gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Luckily, there's no soldiers here. I mean, um, I, why would they be? They're probably like running and scared like crazy. Open the door. There's actually no time limit, so you don't really have to worry about it. Even though there kind of really should be, but if they was, then it'd be kind of weird. Let Fina go. Well, well. So the man who holds the spirit stone is just a boy.
Justin, stay away! <laughs> so, the legend that the spirit stones light and the Akarian wings call to each other is not exactly a lie. I'll give the girl back to you, my little Justin. However, only in exchange for the Spirit Stone. He's lying, Justin. Don't believe him. If you give him the Spirit Stone, he'll just kill you. Please, run away. My ship is about to sink. It's your choice. Which is really important. Okay. I'll trade. Release Fina! Quickly! <laughs> you are a wise young man. The great mysteries of Angelo are beyond your powers. Come! Give me the Spirit Stone! <laughs> Finally, I have the absolute power of Angelo in my very own hands. Die, you worms! Together with this burning ship! <laughs> By the way, I like how the first laughter he didn't do. It's like the um, actor was like, eh, I forgot, I don't want to do the first one. I'll do the second one, though. <laughs> And there is your your indication that Ball is insano. But then again, we already knew that because of how much he wanted the Angelo civilization. Oh no, Ball lied. Why weren't we not surprised? Anyways, you have... Holy crap, I can't go on my menu? Oh, that's weird. I'm gonna cut this. All right. Once you're ready, prepare to go fight General Ball. And to prepare to fight, well, it's not a hard fight, it's just, it, it's a lot easier if you manage to upgrade your, um, if you manage to have, like, Thor cut to max and you just spam that repeatedly. I'm actually being totally serious, if you manage to, um, max out Thor cut, this battle is pathetically dumb. Like, it's really, really pathetically dumb. Ooh, can I press this and have windows open? Yay! It's just black. All right, whatever. I'm out of here. <laughs> this place is stupid. Oh, hello. Wow, you didn't get far at all. Like, you seriously didn't get far at all. This Ikarian is mine, boy. You have no need of her powers. She's no Ikarian. You're nuts. Fina is Fina. For the last time, let go, Fina. You little worm has a roar coming of his size. Have it your way, then you should be proud to die at my hand then. And time for a fight with Ball. His name is just Ball or General Ball? No, it's just Ball. Ball? <laughs> All right, so General Ball here, he has very, I don't even have freaking Thor cut. Wow, I suck at this game. <laughs> Alright, so General Ball has a few moves that can actually be relatively annoying for the most part, but, eh, he's not really hard, per se. Okay, I'm also thinking of the other fight. I don't think it's this fight. I don't think I ever had Thor cut in this battle. Oh, he does hurt, though. But, then again, that's comes in the territory with these type of fights where, you know, you think that you're good, but, no, they friggin' hurt. I'm going to go ahead and not worry about that, and I'm going to cast Diggin so I can be able to increase my defense so I don't get murdered. Because he's about to do his most stupid damaging move from hell. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, I have to increase my defense because this fight I'm kind of ill-prepared for. Actually, no, I think I was ill-prepared for this fight regardless. Eh, whatever. Witness my blast power. No, I don't want to witness your blast power. Thank you very much. This is the secondary move that we kind of did. We did learn, so that's good. Dustin, please get up. 
Oh, you're gonna... My power cannot wane. Oh, okay, so it doesn't even matter. He also does this. This is the vanish move that that Rune Guardian would have used if, um... <laughs> You manage to end up cheesing by using um, healing attacks. That's the kind. Of, okay, all healers definitely not gonna do anything. Right. There. Like it's really, really not. That's not gonna heal me to full. Um, wait, Mulligan, Mulligan. Uh, yeah, forget it. We'll just do V slash. Hopefully, this cancels you out. This probably won't cancel you out. Yeah, of course not. Why am I not surprised? This game just does not depreciate the power of cancels. Well, you got rescue. Uh, you got um, rescue um, sets, so eh, whatever. Let's use that against us now. Ball has, I think he has another dangerous move that's not Baboom. I think he does have a friggin' move that's like like dangerous as all hell but then again that's comes with the territory of this guy he doesn't have as much defense thank god but he can't slap you in the face repeatedly a bunch of times until he kills you oh he's actually wasting a turn to use um healer okay this gives me the time to actually whack him in the face a bit my power cannot wane and this is probably gonna this is not gonna fully heal him thank you God, because if it did, it'd be really <laughs> effing annoying. All right, what are you doing now? Oh, you're doing Halnado. Yeah, that's that's not happening. I can't even cancel him out. That's the problem. I wish I can. I wish I could. Like I said, this fight I was very, very ill prepared for. Eh, it happens. Witness my spiral power. That is the powerful version of the tornado attack, Halnado. I actually might lose this fight. At least I think. I don't really know. I don't know. It, it's it's weird. Uh, I don't know. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Free. Yeah, say. Using elemental abilities like that. Oh, no, you're using Baboon again. Um, you see, see, the problem with that, I don't like getting hit. <laughs> like, I really don't like getting hit. You, he does, I noticed that he does 550 damage per move. So, I guess if you have, like, 160-something HP, you could take, like, a total of, like, what, two damage before he can kill you? Okay, or he can go ahead and just make me a liar and just use that. Oh, and he's also casting Zap, too. That's it's not good. He got two spells out, which is not really good at all, because that means that I'm going to be hurt. All right. Uh, I'm just going to use V-Slash real quick, because I know that his next attack is going to be just a regular old fancy little bash me in the face. I'm going to use V slash again before he whacks me in the face again. <laughs> Taking as much advantage as I can here. Ouch. I'm bleeding to death. Now, I could go ahead and risk it and just kill him, but you want to know something? I don't trust myself, and I don't trust him either. What? Wait, what's revival? Is that like something that ends up helping me that if I accidentally die, I just come back? Actually, no, that's a good point. What is that? Okay, wait. Hold on. Wait, what is that? Oh! Oh, snap! Where the hell did I get this? I didn't even notice that. Um, hit him again. <laughs> I didn't even notice that I had that. That's... Oh, and he's... Really? These worms couldn't have done me in. Whatevers. I kicked your ass. It yeah. wasn't, it, it was we difficult, but I still kicked your ass anyways. It could have been better, but I kicked your ass. I don't care. I still win. Sort of. I'm still bleeding, though. Oh, it's good thing I had all those rescue sets. Thank you, Guido. Thank you, soldiers. And get fracked, ball. No. Anyways. Yeah, of course, I don't do anything, what up? Oh, yeah, 
yeah, that's right. I better go ahead and get... Not so fast. Oh, you got up quick. Don't be a fool, boy. You have yet to taste my real power. The power of Gaia! Oh. Well, that's, um... That's disgusting. You're an ugly dude. I don't care how many times it takes. I'll put you in your place. No, that's not happening. Oh, well. All right. <laughs> now you know. No human power can ever defeat me. Fools. You ugly piece of... Oh, wait. We're rated E. You can't say that. Now you're really asking for it. Fool! And I think he just hit me with his penis. Uh, uh, foolish Ikarian girl, choosing to die, but it is of no consequence. I finally have, and I'm in, oh god, I'm on fire! Ah! <laughs> what the? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Fina is an Incarian. Even though there was a lot of there was already like hints of that when you end up finding out that Lean was also an Incarian. But yeah, but this is not only just a cutscene thing. This is more so I will go into detail as to why I'm glad that she has finally unlocked her Incarian powers. Because <laughs> Oh man, it's gonna be good. If you guys are familiar with Kingdom Hearts 2's um, final form, think of it as that. Oh, goody. And you were so worried about Fina. Of course I was worried about Fina. I thought she was dead or knocked out. Say at a time, I thought the sun had come out. Well, thanks to that light, we were able to find you guys. Yeah, I mean, tch. Nah, it's fine. We can not get it back because he's gonna yeah uh, are you sure yeah you were an Akarian Karian doesn't matter Fina is Fina I don't understand what it is. what is it Justin let's go to Lent I want to find out I want to know all about the Akarian's Gaia if we go there I'm sure we'll learn something I too think that's a good idea me too with Bald dead my father's enemy is gone but it was such an exciting way to die <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> he burnt up and he combusted in the flames. <laughs> All right, next up is Lean. All right, now, oh, actually, I can go ahead and go into detail now before I end the episode. Now that Fina has unlocked her Incarian powers, 
This is the move that she has finally learned. Okay, she hasn't unlocked it yet. <sighs> I'm gonna end the episode now, because now I feel like a dumbass. I'll see you guys in the next episode, where we go back to lean. I've been CCX, and I've been sad. <laughs> CCX over and out. Laters. God, it's going on for an hour. Well, it's probably gonna be shortened, but whatever. Laters.